welcome to our introduction to found sound. Let's take a look at our musicians. Hi guys, how are you? Bored. Hi. Bored. You look really bored. Hey, I have an uh -huh. idea. Why don't we take some everyday objects and turn them into some musical fun? Seriously? Really? Yeah! Awesome! What do you think we could use as our everyday objects? A boot? Sure. Water bottle? Yeah. A dog? Well, maybe not the dog. <laughs> All right, I'll give you one minute. See what you can find for some found sound fun. Go. A bowling ball? Maybe too heavy. Yeah, I agree. Could this pillow work? No. Not even this blanket. Flip flops? Those yeah. could work. While the kids are looking for instruments, let's talk about found sound. Found sound, as we said, is using everyday objects to make rhythms, to make music. Found sound can be anything you can find that's not a conventional instrument. Groups like Stomp and Blue Man Group have made found sound very popular in the last couple of years. Found sound is layering rhythms on top of each other. So you take a basic rhythm and maybe a basic object, add another rhythm and another object, and all of a sudden you have something amazing and fun. It's found sound. It's like recycling, it's creative, and it's fantastic fun. Do you think this is stuff would work? Oh yeah! Put it together. One, two, ready, here we go. Stop! All this, all this fan sound is making me thirsty. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed our fan sound today. And remember, fan sound is great with your family, with whatever you can find in your house. Found sound is also great with actual instruments. So I've got a cake pan, a spoon, we're adding our popcorn back in, and here we go. Found sound with actual instruments. One, two, ready, go. <laughs>